Yep. Yeah, there was the hyperbolic time chamber type deal that that you said we were able to take long rests in between uh, mat matches. Yes. And then I believe the next series of matches was the next day, so you guys had a long rest at the um, at the guild. I believe something like this did happen. Yes. It's been a minute. Um, v, you have excellent notes, right? Uh. I have 1450 tokens. Nameless handed me 1203. So you can regale us with <laughs> where we were <laughs> before Kjort went missing. Kjort went missing? I mean, I'm sure he's on his way back. Uh, this group doesn't Pfizer know that Kjort went missing. <laughs> Isaac tried doing Kjort's voice. <laughs> no, uh, Kjort will be on his way back very soon. I wonder if we'll run into Dort while Kjort's gone. Probably not. Actually, um, at the uh, at the guild, you do not see Dort there. Man, weird. I'm yeah, sure he's my, my uh, notes for last session were pretty sparse. But I think we ended just after we had won the uh, the, the uh, group tournament. The, yeah, okay. That's what I thought as well. Alright then. Um... I'm assuming you guys make your way back to the fairgrounds. Or do you have other plans to derail my campaign? <laughs> <laughs> no, Kit. I don't mind going straight to the fairgrounds for you, buddy. I appreciate it. There's already enough chaos going on here. Yeah, I guess we I haven't yet begun to use a lot of the resources you've Did been we, just uh, tossing into the world for me. As we're casually walking around, do we happen to see a pair of uh, unclaimed glasses laying on the ground? Uh, give me a perception. This is going to be a good stabilizer for how today's going to go. <clears throat> ah. <laughs> 20. You do see a pair of glasses. Ah, do they look special at all? Are they unclaimed? Um, they look unclaimed. Do you think these belong to uh, the one lady that lost her eyes? I, I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit of what? a stretch. <laughs> How long does it look like the glasses have been here? Um, a while. Well, you could always ask her. <laughs> are they broken? No, they are in perfect condition. Perfect. We can go give them to the lady who thinks she's not a person. I don't remember what race she thought she was or what she actually is. It, it changes changed. day to day, I thought. Also, even if they're not hers, we can still at least ask if they are. Mm -hmm. I agree. Let's take them with us. Alright, you pick up the glasses. You notice they have, um, their lens are a little bit darker than normal. Weird. What map? Do you know where she is? I had is? custom item. Round. Glasses. Oh, shit. I do not know where she is right now. It's okay. She doesn't either. <laughs> Maybe we'll see her. We'll look for her later. Wherever it is, <laughs> very dark. Are those people working out around her? No. People working out around her? 
What? What? I'm confused. What do you mean? Nothing at all. <laughs> okay. Rito was the old woman this whole time. <laughs> Glark, are you ready to fight? As ready as I'm ever gonna be. Alright, get in there. Your first opponent will be a dwarf fighter. Nice. Hmm. <clears throat> I wanted to have this like description of the weapon pulled up the entire time of fighting. Um, that's so long. <laughs> You may use any weapons you currently have at your, your disposal. No magic is allowed. What if I have a magical thing? Does it shoot missiles? Or is uh, it just a weapon that has been imbued with magic? It can shoot missiles if I want it to. I can just choose not to do it. If you shoot missiles, you will be disqualified. Understood. No missiles. But what if, like, Begin. I stab... Give me initiative. <laughs> Eleven. How the shit does initiative work this thing? <laughs> He's gotta figure it out again. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Click on just... your dwarf and toggle him as active combat. Sword and shield button. Sword and shield button. Active combat. Roll initiative. Suck it, Galark. <laughs> Acceptable. You slow, sly bastard. Not sure I'm so sly. Uh, okay. How do you know my name? You made yourself famous in the there group you. tournament. Oh yeah. That you did. Um Okay. GM roll. Private GM roll. I am the GM. Self roll. <laughs> Does a 14 hit you? Nope. How about A three. No. All right. <laughs> the... You're gonna be okay, buddy. <laughs> Door fighter misses you both times. How did you roll a three that wasn't a nat one? Uh, it's. You know what? <laughs> Why don't you take a swing at the dwarf and find out? <laughs> And then, if I remember correctly, wait, is it plus one integrated here? No, oh, nice. Well, yeah, never mind. Whatever that number was, a 12? Yep. That'll hit. I'm going to uh, telepathically talk to Galark and remind Galark to make it showy, make it showy. They don't like the, the seriousness. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, as long as he doesn't die right now, then I'll do that. Uh, eight damage. Okay. Uh, so that leaves him with that much health. Oh, refrain from enchanting our weapon with, ma with lightning to do extra damage. For fear of getting myself eliminated. Uh, he looks very, very, very harmed by the blow. Are you going to say anything? Make it showy. I don't know. My grandmother was here today. He looks insulted by that. <laughs> uh, I look at I look at Milo and go, "Wait, Galark beats his grandma." That does a nineteen hit you? That's not yeah. a good thing. <laughs> Nine damage. 
then this again. This offhand. Does a 19 hit you? Yeah. Do you add um, strength modifier on offhand? If they are proficient, yes. They are proficient. With two you weapon take fighting away. or with the weapon itself? Uh, if they're proficient with the weapon, they can add their proficiency, and then they need uh, they can add their proficiency to the attack roll, and then they actually need uh, two weapon fighting. Or if it's a monster block, like that Dragonborn should be, it should tell you what the attack will be anyways. Six damage. Nice. All right, your turn. <clears throat> I'd like to wait. <laughs> okay. And then I would like to headbutt the man. Okay. I assume that'd be considered an unarmed strike. Yes. Unless you're wearing... I uh... rolled a nat one. Okay. <laughs> um, Roll me a d20, please. And I really hope you roll a one. It'd be hilarious. It'd be a sad way to end. I believe that was uh nineteen. Okay. Well, you hit the ground instead of him. Oops. How did he manage to flip on his head? What are you doing, Galark? I'm performing. I, I, the audience seems very confused. Is, <laughs> is he trying to throw the fight? I mean, maybe he's trying to keep Rage active for himself? Oh, hey! Why did the, it say the... that? God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> The dwarf is speaking about dice now. I'm confused. What kind oh of fight my is god, this? he rolled a net one! <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, his axe... He swung at where he thought you would be instead of where you are, and his axe just goes above your head. Well, that would be pretty easy considering he headbutted the ground. And he like, completely misses you with the second attack because he's off balance. It's your turn. You're prone, by the way, from your headbutt into the ground. Oh no! <laughs> well... Now that we're here... <laughs> you might be it. wondering how I ended up in this situation. <laughs> I would love to just grab him and throw him out of the arena behind me after I stand up. I'm not sure what rolls I have to make for this. That's a lot of grapple strength and stuff. Because you're, you're trying to grapple him now. <laughs> yes. So... Uh, grapple is uh, your strength, strength right? back opposed by his uh, acrobatics or athletics check, with whichever is higher, I'm pretty sure. My strength roll is a 19. Holy fuck. Is it, a, is it just, it's just a check, right? Yeah, it's what a check. That's a do? save. So, since I'm raging, make that a 21. Okay. He's grappling. Uh, oh, no, I gain advantage. The plus two is to melee damage. Never mind. I just get advantage. It's if I roll higher. I do not. So 19 is the check for the grapple. All right. Well, he failed with an 18. Okay. I want. <laughs> it's close. And now you can basically drag him. Uh, you already used half your movement standing up. Uh, so you've got, what, 15 feet of movement left, and now every time you move, it takes 10 feet of movement to actually move. So you can move okay. him one square, and then you can, like, just you can move yourself Here, and him feet. one square. And then you can do your throw action, which that can be in a direction that you want. But actually, you can't, because you're grappling him, and that was your action. <laughs> actually, we'll just, okay, well, since I can't do all that, we'll just stay here for now, and I'll just have him grappled. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm just going to assume I'm going to make another one of these. He's going to try and escape your grapple. Uh, he has to beat a 10. <laughs> he escapes your grapple. 
he's going to use do you, bonus do you action. He, do you think he hit his head? He's now it's like he's trying to hug him. Nat twenty. I think he was trying to wrestle with him. Oh. I guess he must be slippery hit, or something. Kick, 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 before you continue. Escaping a grapple also takes an action. Yes, he was using his bonus action. Gotcha. And you take six damage. What? He used his bonus action to attack you. With what? Uh, his offhand axe. I thought you had to use it. I thought you could only do that on your attack action. No, bonus action you can just make another attack with. Oh, interesting. So six damage? Yes. I will have that because I am raging. Oh, wait, I had advantage on that. Fuck! Sit. Or <laughs> will... He wants the barbarian what so it, well, so what badly. Would what would it have been? A thir It would have been a 13. I'm guessing he'd be a 13. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter then. Okay. Okay. Alright, I'm just going to punch him again. I'm not going to headbutt him because I don't want to fall over. Assuming his turn is over. Yes. You've been playing with your food. What the Oh my fuck? god! They're starting to think that you're throwing the fight. I, I tele one? telepathy I telepathy to him. Can you declare reckless now? <laughs> uh, uh Yeah, if you're reckless you'd have advantage. Oh I rolled on that. a two. It wasn't a one, boys! <laughs> 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 and he went reckless for that shit. <laughs> uh, I don't think I have reckless. All right, uh, what? Uh, is reckless, oh, reckless level two? Or... When you make your first attack. You can decide to attack recklessly. Oh yeah, I forgot I could do that. Uh, since I've already finished all the rolls, I'm gonna go ahead and not. Especially since my advantage roll was a two anyway. It doesn't matter. All right, you completely miss him, but you don't knock yourself unconscious. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Stop hitting yourself! <laughs> Literally! Uh, does... Nope, that misses. That's a nat one. Oh boy. <laughs> the oh boy. The battle of the okay. ones. Uh, Jesus Christ, this is the worst battle I have ever seen. <laughs> hey guys! Uh, hi, how you doing, crowd? And he these, misses these you with the other attack. These guys are amazing fighters, aren't they? Okay. Alright. I'm done with this fight. I'm assuming your turn is over. Yeah, it's your go. Uh, I'm pulling my axe back out, and I will attack recklessly. That's a 21, and the second roll is an 8. Fucking <laughs> Christ. Uh, okay. 21 to attack. Um. Yeah, uh, he had 2 HP after your first attack. Alright, I <laughs> so... did. 12 damage. <laughs> <laughs> He is now I would, love, I would love to roar out of not at anger, but simply pure frustration out of how this fight went. Nameless is just an, off on the stands, hardly raising an arm, kind of embarrassed, but going, y yeah. After a moment, the uh, the announcer kind of looks over and is like, uh, 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 Galark Sunax is the victor! Huzzah! <laughs> Woo. Probably oh just God. so embarrassed. Class. <laughs> Quite the fight, please, fighters. Uh, go and get rested. That... I will just stalk off the field. I thought for sure he was trying to throw the fight there. I don't know why though. I think he was trying to make it interesting and only made it embarrassing for himself. Oh, I'm going so slow. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Where did he just go? Just so slow. I... <laughs> 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 
I imagine this to be so much faster. This is why I tried to stock off this way. Funny. Are you moving by ruler or something, or are you just uh, dragging yeah. yourself? I click, drag, drop, and it's just, this is the speed. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Man, if I would have gotten a throw off, it would have been cool. <clears throat> It's one of the only things I don't like about D&D's uh, &D action economy. Because you can't do a lot of cool things when you want to do them, when you think you should be able to do them. Yeah. All right, I'm just going to give myself a long rest. <clears throat> I can enhance my axe to do bonus lightning damage, but I feel like if there was extra lightning coming out of my strikes, it would feel like cheating. So I'm going to not do that. Oh, as long as you're not shooting missiles of lightning. <laughs> I hope he doesn't fight like that in his next fight. Something tells me we're in for some long fights today if, if uh, him and his competitors are like this. Uh almost feel like I could have done pretty good in this tournament if I would have gone in it. I mean, but... it's just a test of melee combat. You don't have to be strong to be a good melee combatant. Yeah, but I got kind of beat up pretty bad yesterday. I didn't want that to happen again today. Well, you got beat up because you got outnumbered. It's true. I'm sure as hell not, not going to be on the ground looking to get hit like that. I'm not sure if you guys can hear me, but I do want to be clear. I also don't want the other fights to go like this. <laughs> I hear the voice of someone speaking from a hyperbolic time chamber. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that why it's so echoey? <clears throat> Maybe. Did you connect our? Did you give him telepathy before we before we walked off? No, I. Oh, mine, mine might still be on him then. Mine lasts for, like, miles. I don't know where the hyperbolic time chamber takes him, but it, he should be st still within my range of it, at least, for another half hour or so. Wait, how does that work if the time flows faster there? Maybe if he's talking to you, you just hear a whole bunch of squeaking. Because it's That'd going be really, really fast. <laughs> alright, alright, his new opponent's up. Let's size him up and let's give, give Galark all the information we can about him. Okay. Uh, Galark, you're fighting Thrall. You're gonna die. <laughs> Only if he uses his magic. Doesn't he also have enhancement shaman capabilities? I think you're dead, Galark. I don't know anything about shaman. Strictly. I feel like summoning totems that do things would be cheating. He could totally summon a wind fury totem that does not count as magic. It just increases his attack speed by a lot. Yeah, I think if you fight anywhere even a little better than the last one, you're you're gonna die. The fuck did I take for spells? <laughs> like what what am I doing here? What do I have? What do I need? Okay, I have all my spells. That's so weird. Because I have and level three spells and okay. Sorry. Gentlemen, we bring you the fight between Galark Sun Axe and Carl the Barbarian. Mm. Carl? That must be a stage name. <laughs> <clears throat> Carl would like to rage. I will join him. Alright, uh give me a new initiative because you rolled eleven. Wait, 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 wait. I got a 13. I did not beat Carl's initiative. Carl is ready to smash. <laughs> Same for after the fight, buddy. <clears throat> Carl saves nothing for after the fight. Carl smash! He is recklessly <laughs> attacking you. 
How bad would it be if I tried casting calm emotions on Carl? <laughs> Is that verbal? Unfortunately, that's why I was want, uh, why I was like I'm looking around at the audience and going, eh, maybe not. <laughs> Does 22 hit you? Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh. So I could, like, totally cast Calm Emotions on both of them and watch both of their rages just stop flat, and it would be hilarious as hell. How many times can you cast that? Uh, in bed. Three. I can cast it three times. Fuck. Well, you only get it on each of us once. Nope, I hit both of you because it's a 20 foot circle. Oh. Fifth level is extra attack. Okay. That that would be pretty funny if you mm -hmm. do it. <laughs> just right. just watch both of them fall flat on their face going, Oh the fuck? Why am I not pissed anymore? You take yes. nine damage. Okay. And since he rec uh it's your turn. Since he recklessly attacked, um you have advantage. What kind of damage is it? Um angry damage. I will assume it, what, that. What's the weapon? A uh, great axe. <laughs> I will assume Slash it's not you. magical. Correct. That okay. is non magical angry damage. Well, I, I will resist him magical angry damage as too. Well. I'm pretty sure barbarians just resist that damage outright if it's slashing or piercing or blunt. Uh, we resist In a rage, right? they do. Yeah. And we both raged before a fight. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> I uh, will recklessly attack him back. Out of respect. Does a modified 20 hit him? Yes. Good, good, good. I do like to hear that. <clears throat> uh, that would be 9 damage. Plus 2. 11 damage. <clears throat> His turn. Twenty higher. Twenty. That hits. Hits you for a seven. That die was crooked. I should re-roll that. <laughs> it landed Wait, the digital the... dice was crooked? Yeah, it landed yeah, it in the happened. corner of the screen, so it was like propped up halfway between the two and the seven. It's like, mm, this is And a both two. numbers light up, right? Uh, your numbers light up? On D&D Beyond? Oh, well, mine don't. <clears throat> but yeah, it was like halfway between the two and the seven. It was upsetting. Damn. Your turn. Nice turn off, so. Again, a recklessly attack. Does an 18 hit? Yes. Nine damage. <laughs> it's a very exciting fight. I'm oh, yeah. Cool. But it's just two barbarians I mean, raging at each other. Two yeah, half looking at barbarians. It, it looks two very sweaty, half naked men just. Hacking away at one each other, snarling in each other's faces, this making out a, a test, little. This is a test roll. Test roll. Okay, it didn't translate over to uh, Foundry. I can't remember if I didn't fill up my water all the way or if I drank some of it already. The tw uh, 21 hits you? Yeah. Mm. Come on. Big money. 12 damage. Yes. I haven't been having the damage you've been doing to him, so he should have... Is it? Do you have magical slashing damage? <clears throat> um... Uh, barbarians will... should uh, just have uh, slashing, piercing, and... Yeah, you don't, are, you don't need to ask for the magical portion. They just have resistance to those damage types if, if yeah. they're raging. Oh, just all of them in general? Yep. Uh, to those oh, three, okay. yeah. 
You huh. need to be a bear totem barbarian to get the uh, resist everything except psionic. Is yeah. it lightning damage for the um, base damage, or is it slashing damage and then extra <clears throat> lightning damage? Yeah, that's only the extra lightning damage if I choose to do it. it. Lightning is relatively normal axe made of silver that has the ability to create lightning. You have a plus one bonus to attack damage rolls with this magic weapon. Okay, it so it does say spell. magic. Okay, you're good. So it's probably just regular. I'm not sure. That's, it sounds like it works as a plus one uh... magical plus weapon. One magic That's weapon. what I'm hearing. Too. Yeah. <laughs> yep, it's a plus one magic weapon with an extra rider. Rider die, reckless attack, boys, let's go. Second one was much better, thank god. 25. That will hit. <clears throat> good. Yeah, this, this fight isn't really that showy, but I guess. All it is is I mean... angry yelling at each other and slashing. The audience loves it. Two hot sweaty men beating the shit out of one another. <laughs> Fourteen. Look! Look at them. They're all here for this. This is just—they're just angry, yelling at each other, slicing each other up, and look at look at their tendons just go and flex. I'm assuming you look around, and there's just all kinds of middle-aged women just oh. screaming their heads out off in the stands. <laughs> Some middle-aged men too. All right. Um, uh, just roll two twenty higher plus this many. Why did that only roll once? Should have rolled twice. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter. Uh, they were the same number. Twenty-three hits you. Yes. Eleven damage. I'm sorry, sixteen damage. Damage rounds down, right? What? Yes. That's sixteen. So sixteen, yes. So it'd I guess be that is different than eleven. <clears throat> yes. One rounds down to zero. Fourteen and a twenty-six to hit. Twenty-six to hit. for advantage. Sixteen damage. All right. Um. Uh. No. 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 I was just reading the board. I was just reading the board. Fourteen damage. As you bring down your axe for your final blow against Carl, um, lightning starts crackling from your axe, and a portal opens up above you, as a halfling drops from the sky and shatters into Carl. Uh, Kjort stands up, kind of rubbing his head. <laughs> Uh, oh man! What the hell happened? The crowd is very confused, and the judge comes over and asks to inspect your axe and sure, tries to it. determine its properties. He's like, "Is this an axe of halfling summoning?" No, it's a it's a lightning axe. Uh, give me a persuasion roll with advantage, since you're telling the truth. Toss shit at me, I'll toss shit at you. 18. <laughs> Since I'm telling the truth, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, I find this to be believable. Uh, <laughs> it looked like you were going to win anyway, so we'll allow this, but... Here, I'll show you. I don't want to grab the axe back, and oh, I have a <clears throat> spell I can cast. I thought. Oh no, it's just a paralyzing strike. Never mind, I'm not going to show you jerk shit. Oh no, that's not an axe of halfling summoning. He doesn't have that in his possession. That's back at the guild. <clears throat> no, this, uh, I, I got lost. I got lost. Oh yeah, I can't summon. Wait, what's this lightning bolt? Do you have any ice cream, mister? <laughs> uh, he, he looks a little bit flustered. Well, um, Carl is the loser in this... Uh, G Galark is the winner, and we'll f face, um, face off the f the finals champion. Galark, please can, return to the hyperbolic time chamber. To can I just ask recover. if Kjort is asking for ice cream while holding on to ice cream? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't taste right when you teleport. Trust me. This is the second one. Ruined both times. Maybe you shouldn't uh, teleport then. 
Yeah. You, you know, mm. I would prefer that. Just very nauseating, nauseating thing. Um, Why did you teleport the first time? <laughs> it was an accident. I spun the wheel and I ended up in fucking Arkenton. What the fuck? Why and there? There was, was a man with wings and there was a bird and there were four super buff dudes. Well, three dudes and one dudette. And yeah, man, I've had a day. I'm gonna go bring some ice cream uh, back to the guild. Uh, bye! <clears throat> with it. Short heads off to go get some more ice cream. Bye, Kurt! That was random. Oh, I, okay, so if I ever need to prove that it's a lightning axe, I have two spells I can cast. But... I feel like Kurt got his crumbuppets for some reason. I think so. Is that an ice cream flavor? It can be. How much damage do you... I keep forgetting that rage doesn't automatically add two to my attacks, so I need to start continue to add that. So I technically on that last attack did do sixteen damage. Go we'll figure. Uh, I know you can go into D and D Beyond and modify your attack roll to just add plus two. You can do a customize and just give a plus two to hit bonus or plus two to damage bonus. You should be able to do that in. Uh, the Beyond 20 as well. Did I say Founder or D&D &D Beyond? You said D&D &D Beyond, but I, I meant the uh, Beyond 20 app. Just adding... Uh... Power Rangers role playing game available uh, you are for pre order raging. on the ah, Add rage damage to melee attacks. Okay, cool. Uh, how does this work? Where is that at? Create folder? Create action. Beyond 20 has an option for adding rage damage? Nah. Yeah. It's a, I, just, I opened up Rule 20 on DD Beyond, which is at the very bottom. <laughs> Oh, uh, I guess it's because I'm not a uh, barbarian, so it's Maybe. not reading that on my it sheet. It also gives me the Great Weapon Master feat as an option and Brutal Chronicle Strike Savage Attacks option. Huh. That's cool. Oh, well, it's character specific. <clears throat> yeah, there it is. That's... Character specific options, yeah. I see it. Oh, what's his name? Um, something with a name. Are you, <laughs> are you looking something up? Chester. Okay. Chester. The cheetah? Yes. You're I'm in for fighting. it now. <clears throat> I'm fighting Chester the cheetah. You're fighting Flamin' Hot Chester. Hit points is this many. Hope you're prepared. I can only be so prepared. Testing. 17, 16, 6. Doesn't that work that way? Hold on a second. Pop, pop, pop. Seven. These things have shit charisma. So Clicky. how... Clicky. How exact is the phrasing of as long as I'm not shooting missiles of lightning with my axe, it's okay. How, how okay, so I need to have that clicked. Accurate too. is that? Like, if my axe had a little extra umph on its attacks with some lightning enhancements, would that be cheating? If you're what? 
If I do an extra 1d8 lightning damage on each time I may, I hit the guy, is that cheating? Um. No. Perfect. You're not shooting any missiles. If that's the exact definition, I will run with it. Do you still have to hit the Beyond 20 icon? Me? Yeah, do you guys still have to hit your the Beyond 20 icon, or do you just use the quick rolls now for the dice? I've been hitting the Beyond 20 icon still. I just hit the dice number. Like oh, I, hit, I hit the plus two on the initiative, and it rolls. Yeah. I don't have to hit the D and D BIs or the Beyond Twenty dice thing. <clears throat> Let's just assume I'm raging. Maybe if I reroll both screens, I want to see if this works. <laughs> I'm trying to get it to work, anyways. Yeah. Oh, maybe if I uh, allow pop-ups and don't add block D and D Beyond. That doesn't look like Chester the Cheetah. I never said it was Chester the Cheetah. Looks like a salamander pet that was supposed to be a certain druid's pet that you're just using for your own devices now. <laughs> I like my devices. Flaming Hot Chester's a little bit slow, so you will get to go first. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring you oh, the hey, finals what's... match between Galark and our reigning champion, Flamin' Hot Chester. Previous to the beginning I... of the fight, I would like to enhance. Where's your character token? Oh, it does work. Cool. Mine? Yeah. It's right under the dead. Oh. <laughs> Move that there. <laughs> I'd like to enhance my weapon for 10 minutes for extra lightning damage hits. <clears throat> I thought they said this was supposed to be a uh, melee fight. That that doesn't look like a normal fighter. Um, what can we do? Okay. Did it, did he give the cut go for combat to start? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, it is your turn. Perfect. I will rage at the start of my turn. And then I will stand here. Might be a better view for the audience here. And then I will attack him. And then we're just going to test some waters here, you know, to see how things go. But I will do this roll. Uh, does a nine hit him? Um, no. All right, we won't be doing that again. That is my <laughs> turn. I'll be right back. Okay. Well, I hope you're paired because uh, that many plus that many. Oh, first. <clears throat> first. It is going to move through you. Setting you on fire. Gross. Um, and you take uh, oh, that much. You take 10 fire damage. Oh. Hey, isn't that magic? No! That's part of his body. Um, and you are now on fire. It takes an action to extinguish the fire. Otherwise, you will take 1d10 fire damage at the start of each of your turns. That doesn't sound like a good time. No. No, not not really. And then it is going to attack you. Uh does plus much. <clears throat> does an eighteen hit you? Yeah. And how about this might be overtuned. How about a twenty three? I feel like it might be overtuned, yes. Well, this is going to be um Quick. This, this much. You take 17 fire damage. Ow. Was he just punching me with flaming fists? Yes. 
17, you said? Yes. Chester is surprised that you are still standing. Uh, is what Chester would say, but you don't understand it because it's in primordial. Fair enough. All right, well, let's recklessly attack again, but I will not try to do the minus five thing. Does a 16 hit? Yes, it will. Perfect. I would like you to make a DC 16 constitution saving throw. DC 16. Oh, I'm good at con saves. Your best option might be to throw him out of the arena. Can I grab something that's made of fire? You can. And try. I'm gonna die before the end of the next turn, so it doesn't matter. He say he fails with an eight. You're paralyzed until the start of my next or the end of your next turn. It is immune to paralyzation. I call what? What the fuck is this? <laughs> oh wait, it's also immune to grapples. Uh, it's a fire elemental. You are literally fighting fire. <clears throat> Wow, that that sat on twelve for a long time. <laughs> I didn't crit. I don't know why it rolled twice. Uh, three plus five, eight damage plus. Uh... It looks like it's adding your rage on there, so that's fifteen. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah, fifteen. Yes. Oh no, not fifteen. It'd be the second one. So, yeah, fifteen. I can't do math. My brain is small. Fifteen. Uh, wait. Let me think. So the first one is 8 for just the roll. That doesn't include the plus 2 from Rage, which puts up to 10. It includes plus 2. It says slashing damage 8, Rage damage 2. Oh, then I guess I just didn't see the number. Uh... Yeah, cause it... Oh, it added it over here. Okay, so yeah, the first hit. So 10 damage plus 2 lightning damage. Okay, yeah, cause so it looks 12 like, damage uh... Okay. All right. Um, Take me out. It's over. Oh, and did you roll damage for the fire? No, I thought you would roll that. Okay, you take... I have to roll my own fire damage? I'm. You take nine fire damage. You should have rolled your own fire damage. <laughs> yeah, you should have. It doesn't matter. It did. None of this matters. <laughs> All I right. went from 45 to nine health in one turn. Uh, you know, I... Feels... Feels wizard, man. I, this this fight seems kind of bullshit. This this seems like it was set up for uh, Chester to win all along. Uh, eight misses. <clears throat> I call cheating. Uh, Chester. Did, like, wow, another eight. He misses both his attacks. What? <laughs> it's your turn, and you were going to take. Wait, do I take it at the beginning or the end of my turn? Beginning of your turn. Uh. Two fire damage. Two. Okay. Uh, he's immune to grappling, by the way. Yes, you've mentioned this. And he's immune to being unconscious as well. Uh, does a... Oh, it only does the minus five. It doesn't do the plus seven. Son of a bitch. Uh, does a, does a... 13 oh. hit. Yes. Nice! Alright, let me make sure this gets added in. Great Weapon Master. Nice! The 12 plus 5 plus 10 from Great Weapon Master. Plus... Five lightning. It's a lot of damage. I'm a little upset. It's 34 total? Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. If he misses, you might maybe have a chance. Might maybe. It's if he favorite. hits, you're fucked. If, he, if I paralyzed him, I would have won. It doesn't matter. <laughs> He's immune to a lot of shit. But you're not supposed to win this fight. <laughs> um, his turn. Come on, big money, no whammies. Show me 20! This is rigged! 
Oof, that's gonna hurt. I just don't just don't even don't even range. go again. Just do the one attack and it's just fine. Just no, 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 no. my range. Well, the second one was a nat one. So he's only going to hit you once. Um, and it is going to deal. Actually, have you been using Reckless this whole time? Yeah. That means he has uh, advantage against you. Oh, I didn't realize that. I know, I specifically didn't include that information. <laughs> um, yeah, you take seven damage, exactly. Damn. Okay. Chester is no, your... Uh, actually, at, at the start of my next turn, I'll fall over after the fire damage ticks over. Oh, okay, yeah, right, you're barbarian. I was hoping it was six damage. I was really hoping it was six damage. That would have been so nice. Chester, very impressed. You're still standing. All right, and then how much fire damage do you take? If it's more than zero, I fall over. Uh, it is five. Five fire yeah. damage. I fall over. You succumb to the fire damage. Oh, if you had are... rolled one less on that damage dice, I would have had one more turn. Damn it. This was rigged. Chester's just very strong. There's a reason Chester's the champion. Still, you put quite a dent in his health. Still rigged. Still rigged. If you'd like, you two can fight Chester. No. <clears throat> no magic allowed. But Chester is a being of magic, so that doesn't make sense. No magic allowed. Then Chester's disqualified because Chester is a being of magic. Chester was made in a workshop. That can still be channeled by using magic. Chester is not magic. Chester is fire. Incarnate. There's nothing <laughs> magical about fire. That was summoned through magic. Elemental fire is magic of that sort. If you'd sort. like, you can take it up with Chester in a one-on-one. -on -one. <clears throat> but of uh, course with no magic, right? For giving a hell of a good show, Galark is awarded 1,200 um, tokens. I can't remember if I had called anything special or not. Twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. I should have won. How much would I? How what would I have gotten if I would have won? Oh, if you had won, it would have been five grand. Because no one has ever defeated Chester before. I want to know one that one thing real quick. If I can go find it. Oh, where is my first attack roll? The one that has a negative one. Would a oh my god, would a sixteen have hit? Yes. My first my first round should have hit him. Fuck. Did you not think that? Well, because whenever I rolled, uh, so there's a D and D twenty or D and D twenty. Yeah, what is it called? Beyond twenty dice next to my great weapon master description. When I rolled that, I forgot it didn't account for the weapon I was using, so it didn't add my bonuses when to attack. Oh, it okay. just did the d20 minus five. Uh, and great, wep great weapon master is minus 10, so it was just adding your strength. You can choose to take a minus five penalty to the attack roll and add 10 damage to the attack. That's what the description yeah, nope, it's minus five. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's so I should have. <laughs> how much health did he have left? Uh, like 60. Oh, no. No, I'm not doing 60 damage in one turn. <laughs> he had 60 left? Somewhere between 50 and 60, yeah. How much did he have? 102. You really would have needed to uh, get a solid hit for, you literally any, made that for, for every attack. To win. It, hey, it was very unlikely for you to win. You had him fight a CR5 monster? Yes, yeah, solo. <laughs> I got it down to like half health. Yes. Not quite. 
I was impressed. I'll say between 50 and 60 is 50. That way I can give myself that. And if that first hit would have landed, definitely below half. As yeah. Chester said, <clears throat> Chester was surprised you were still standing so long. I have a feeling that Chester is going to back come back to face us at some Wait, point. But was the was the primordial that Chester was speaking? Was that infernal? Uh, it was ignan, which is ignan. A that's right. That's right. Inf dialect. Infernal is a different type of demon. Yeah. Yes. There's like a yes. ton of dialects this of primordial. Fucking fire elemental made in a workshop knows primordial. <laughs> well, yeah, that primordial is the language of elementals. Yeah, if there are around other things that speak primordial, you don't. <laughs> so technically speaking will uh there is lore that actually attaches that all well not in my world but generally for D, D lore that when you make a fire elemental you're still summoning that spark from the plane of fire uh okay makes sense so it just inherently knows the language yep it's the language of fire So when they're talking, it just sounds like more fire, but it's actually them talking. Basically. Makes so all sense. we really hear is snap, crackle, pop, but they're speaking a whole language there. Oh, you heard a ton of snap, crackle, pops. They were all from Galark's skin and bones. Yeah, it's a time chamber thingy. It's fine. He's fine. He'll live. Do we have enough to gamble on the stuff yet? I maybe. I don't know. Do we want to do more stuff? I'm just gonna go for it. We can. We can. I don't check. know if you I... two want to spin that wheel some more. I don't mind. I will pass on I... spinning that wheel. I am never spinning that again. <laughs> I've never felt so demoralized in my life. I would ask no you what happened how... in there, but I'm betting you can't tell me. I would love to try to tell you about the, the time I rolled the wheel. And the, uh, it, it was uh, fine. <laughs> I, I think that's what we were like. Uh, we can't really say what happened uh, or anything yeah, like wait, that. It's... We literally cannot tell. We're not capable. Yeah, I was there for the agreement that you guys had to make. Yeah. And I walked out and didn't make it. I'm surprised Kjort was able to talk about what he what he did. I mean, it was pretty obvious what happened. I don't think it's hard for him to... I don't know. <clears throat> That's actually a good point. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite possible that Kjort just didn't sign anything. <laughs> that also is true. Snuck in, spun the wheel. Oh, fuck! <laughs> I mean... That is a possibility. Sure we're talking about. Just, because, uh, just because I spun, just because you're the person that spins the wheel doesn't mean the thing that happens, whatever happens, happens to you. For example, when I spun the wheel, what happened was I. <laughs> I thought they were supposed to tell an actual ad for the wheel. <laughs> I don't. I don't remember. I don't remember, I remember what the contract. Rather, was. but I like the cut off too. What you're doing is funny. <laughs> Oh, Chris really just weird. got tentacle fingers. <clears throat> wow. Right. Uh, so, what would you guys like to do? You have pockets brimming. Did you with say toes. he just got tentacle fingers? No, I said he got Chris tentacle fingers. He lost his arcane focus. What, what else did it take from him? He got fucked up. Um, he has an intense. Uh, attraction to fire. <laughs> There's fucking five rings of wild magic. Jesus. What other activities are there around the circus? Carnival? What, is this, what do they prefer to be called again? I don't want to get it wrong. I believe Come again? Carnival. I, I believe. think this is a carnival. This is a carnival. And I did not say circus, I said carnival. Out of pure frustration, I want to go hit the bell again. <laughs> Just... Okay, give me a uh, 
strength like roll, or three strength rolls. All right, give me six strength rolls. I I'm going to deceptively mage hand oh. the shit out of that. I might have clicked that too many times. I forgot I had the thing checked where it's gonna. <laughs> oh no. I tried clicking it six times. Seven. <laughs> hey, there's a crit! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, the first three of those. So 15, 15, 21. Or 15, 18, 21. 15, 18, 21. 15, 18, 21. 15, 18, 21. You mean eight? Oh, hang on. Are there more? There are more. 15, 18, 21. All right. Uh, yeah, give me a deception on your mage hand. Or stealth. I don't have mage hand. Stealth makes more sense. Not you. Oh, well. There we go. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, yeah. That you was... Say plus two instead of plus seven, but I think that's still fine. Yeah, that's still fine. <laughs> um, you do it perfectly, and how many tokens did he give you last time? What was it 300? I, I can't remember. Take 300. I don't think I got it last time. <laughs> These are fucking candy. Oh, you can have 300 candies. 300, eh? I have a good number of tokens. Pretty sure I gave all my tokens away, away to V just so I didn't have to do the math. <laughs> I have 3177 tokens. 3177. I have party loot written down, but I don't have tokens written down. <laughs> That's too much work. Too many numbers. Party loot, we have 1157 GP. <laughs> Oh, do we want to see what the uh, bidding's up to? Because I think we're starting to get close to when the the uh, auction's supposed to be over. I thought the auction was going to be starting tonight. No, the auction ends tonight. Ah, uh, well, yes, we should go check to see what the bidding is currently at. Okay, I follow you guys. I misunderstood that, I guess. That's okay. All right. Um, which magical tent are you going to? The uh, definitely not cursed one or the regular one? Well, the definitely not cursed one, of course. Okay. I'll go check out the definitely not cursed one. You guys can go check out the regular one. I'm still following you guys. Damn. I feel like this is along. a fine place to split the party. I feel like there's not a lot that could go wrong here. <laughs> That's the one walking into the definitely not cursed shop. Yes, I'm willing to make this sacrifice. <laughs> the shop also intrigues me more, though it also terrifies me. As you can. Uh, the old man behind the counter greets you. Hello! Whoa. Greetings! Hello! Hello! I'm not Hello. putting on your shoes again. The wise my, decision. Oh wait, my clothes didn't get set on fire, did they? Oh yes. They look no. horribly scorched. The scorched, not burned off. Perfect. Okay. Uh, did you extinguish yeah. them? I fell over, passed out. I hope somebody did before they woke me up. Hmm. <clears throat> Gonna roll a quick D two for that. Uh, I don't heads like that you rolled a D two. I don't like that you rolled a D two. <laughs> That's not a bad. I'm... Heads or tails? Tails. Always tails. Okay, you got lucky. It was indeed tails. Someone extinguished you. Thank god. I don't know, Milo. That was, a, that that was asking happen. for a bit too much realism in my fantasy world. I don't know what to make of that. Yeah, it's, it, seemed, <laughs> it seemed a bit much. <laughs> At least he has clothes on. They're scorched, but they're clothes. Yep. And I'm completely kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that that chain of events oh, is just I a funny thing. <laughs> yeah, I would like a uh, a giant giant bucket of water to pour on a fire elemental that I met recently. Oh. Um, I'm actually the real reason I'm here is I'm interested in checking out the giant disc <laughs> that you have uh, for oh. auction. Okay, you're not interested in our bottomless bucket. Oh, no, 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 I don't trust anything in the shop. <laughs> Wait, are you okay, man? Are you okay, sir? 
I believe you're insulted, but I understand. Don't die on us. I, we I, need you to I live to sell us things. I, I will say I am intrigued by everything in this shop, but I don't necessarily trust everything that's on the labels. I mean, my wife was the same way. I'm sure it is a bottomless bucket. I do believe you, but I just, I don't know what's in it. Nothing. It's bottomless. It's an empty bottomless bucket. No, no. Well, I mean, technically. What happens if you tip it over? Um, don't. <laughs> I'm gonna tip it over. <laughs> At least now it's inside. I'm flying, in the air. I'm flying it in the air. Now it's inside. You can tip it over after you buy it, and you're outside and at least 30 yards away from the shop. At what happens? 30... Only 30 yards? It doesn't sound very bottomless. I feel like it should fit a lot more than that. Well, 30 yards away is my ex-wife's shop. <laughs> uh, funny man. Um, but if you were here for the auction, then uh, the, the price is currently at 70 tokens. Very high this year. I'll put down a bit of 100 tokens. Hot damn, I'm going to eat tonight. <laughs> what are these tokens worth money? Oh, to us they are. They're our currency. Ah. Okay. We're not allowed to own homes. What? That I'm seems sorry. Awful. That Girl, doesn't are you sound... a slave? Uh, no, of course not. I love here working here and I work here by choice. Sir? Why were you shaking your head yes when Can you were I yelling redirect that out loud? you to any of the... I... <laughs> <laughs> Are you Any okay? of the items that you wanted to look at, I have you down for a hundred tokens on the auction! Can we put in a, a reserve bid to where if somebody else bids more, we can... Our That's bid not will... how auctions work. Or at least not silent. You can check again later tonight. Auction closes at midnight! What time is it right now? It is... How much time do I want to give you, fuckers? <laughs> it's about f four in the afternoon. Uh, oh, that's a lot of time. Eight hours. Nice. Oh, All right. oh man. We're gonna, it's we're less go... than three days. We're going to go check out I the learned other... my lesson. We're going to go check out the other giant disc quick. And then yeah, we'll let's... come back and check on the auction here later. All right. Have fun, old man. Don't die being a slave. I'm not a slave! Indentured servant. Ah, ha, you use words. <laughs> he, he used the correct words. Goodbye! <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> Goodbye! Following Galark. Yep. Do, 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 do. Alright, Galark, where are you going? Go to the other shop to check on the price of the other one. Okay. Uh, as you walk in. Hello! How are you young ones doing today? Hello! This voice is Hello. much easier on my throat. I you just kind of have to cough! Throat. Like you're always constantly talking. I know someone's throat would be pretty sore. <clears throat> like, Hjort. He's, uh... He talks a lot for... How much it must hurt his voice to do what it does. Oh, oh Kyo, it's very easy on the voice. Don't ask me how <laughs> I, I know can't, I can't ever believe that this is the case. I can't believe this is true. Hello! That <laughs> loud. <laughs> if, if we had any audience, they're going, what the fuck? <laughs> Anyway, how can I help you, young ones? Uh, we're checking on the auction. How much is it going for right now? Ah, right now it is at 950. Hmm. Perfect. I have to put it on auction. I'd like to put down a, uh, a bid for a thousand tokens. Of course. I will pencil that in. It closes at midnight. Don't forget. Yes. Approximately seven hours and fifty-five minutes from now. A thousand tokens, you guys, you, you, you young ones have quite a bit of cash. 
We have a lot of tokens, yes. Thousand tokens, I'll be eating no, for weeks. We know how to fight and do other things. It's fine. Oh, I remember the days of my youth. But I and these two spun a wheel and can't tell me about it? We can't discuss the wheel now, can we, dears? What wheel? <laughs> That's the spirit. Was there anything else you were interested in from my shop? Uh, not right now, I don't think. I wish you two had something you were looking at. Not no, I'm good. <clears throat> Very well, dears. <laughs> we will return, thank you. Goodbye! <laughs> Goodbye! Bye. Bye. Watch out for F Chester. Yeah, fuck that guy. <laughs> Watch out for bottomless buckets. Uh, what? Oh, nothing. God, nothing Bye. again. I'll have to go get my spear. <laughs> the first gift was what? supposed to represent the original fight, by the way. The very first fight. You what? The first gift that I put in the Discord was the first fight we did. I didn't post it fast enough. Oh. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Nothing really matters. <clears throat> oh. I think as we're walking around, uh, Milo would be keeping an eye out for any big pouches of tokens and trying to s snatch them without people realizing it. Just broke things. I wonder if Kit is muted for some no. reason now. <laughs> Sorry, I was reading some of my notes. What did you say? Uh, as we're walking around uh, the carnival, I think Milo would be keeping an eye out of, for anybody who seems to have big pouches of tokens and he'd try and snatch them without them realizing. Um, yeah, give me a slate of hand. I am going to use a, uh, a side dice for that. Uh, so that's an extra d6. Uh, so that's 16 total. Okay, well, I rolled awfully. <clears throat> you managed to steal. Roll d100. 38 tokens from... I was oh, totally going to be ready f with, with some <laughs> charismatic things if he got caught. Portly merchant. <clears throat> Would you like to try again? Sure. Just like telepathy to Milo. Is this something you're going to do until, until it's time? Uh, I can give it a try at least. That way in case of the... Uh... Hey, give me another sleight of hand. You have to beat a three. I mean, it beats a three. <laughs> yeah. Um. Hmm, give me another d20. Uh, no bonuses. If you get a one, you fail. <clears throat> Oh my god! <laughs> Absolutely luck. brilliant. Huh. Well, you managed to steal four, <clears throat> one. You steal one token from a child. Mommy, I've lost my token, mommy. Oh, we're going to starve tonight. Oh, mommy, I'm sorry. <laughs> Please don't let father get the rope. <laughs> the child is say, guided away. Wait, by wait, wait, wait. Did you say mom. the ropes? <clears throat> yes. 
Okay. Apparently that child works for the circus. <laughs> How much does one ticket buy if it's enough for a meal? <clears throat> I sort of feel like uh, the ringleader's not all that cracked up of a good guy if that child lost his token and is now going to starve to death. Yeah, it's a shame he lost his token. Hopefully he can keep better track of his next one. <laughs> That's a shame. <laughs> Damn so, shame. It's so unfortunate that <laughs> it just disappeared like that. Yeah, sure is a shame. Our entire party slider just slid from good to neutral, maybe. <laughs> I was on the good side of things. We were doing good deeds for momentarily, at least. <laughs> Fair. I'm mostly doing what I'm told. <clears throat> I know those feels. It's like we're a part of a guild. Yeah, I'm adventurous. Tells us what to do, what to think, you know, where, where to go, what to kill, what to... Wait, too much? Too much. Alright, um... Mostly just been, go get this. It's mostly been... work so far. Oh, do you want to roll kind of the... what a guild does. Do you want to roll the uh, wheel again, Galark? No, I'm okay for the wheel. Wait, how did my experience go with the wheel last time? Wasn't it positive? It was positive. I could do one more. I could do one more spin, actually. All right. Worst thing that could happen. <clears throat> wheel of wild magic. Give me a D ten thousand roll. Well, I'm not going in there, obviously. Oh, I moved stuff, so I need to go back to my D and D Beyond screen. Uh, I'm just gonna fly above the circuit, uh, carnival, and uh, just keep an eye on, check out what's going on. Just see where some fun stuff was happening. 145? It only really counted one of them? For... Oh, no. Oh, it did them, added them both together, so it was 79.66. Why does it slash roll? Uh, just, just type slash roll of 1D 10,000. Oh, I mean, if you hover yeah, over like it, that. you can see... If you hover up, I mean, I could do that. Uh, if you hover over the number, it says 79 and then a 66, and I assume yeah. those would be the two numbers. But I'll do that next time if I do it again for some reason. Well, that's that's still only 200. What? Well, how would you roll? Just, it's just slash roll. Slash roll. roll. <laughs> but aren't there, there 10,000 possible combinations? If you roll 2D... No, whatever. doesn't matter. <laughs> um, let's see. <clears throat> Alright, so the next... Uh, give me a D4 roll, please. Oops, I, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> <laughs> Three, three times six is 18. You spend the next 18 seconds uh, remembering the impact of every action you have ever taken in your life. I haven't I haven't backspun that much story. Wait a minute. <laughs> the Lark seems a lot of really, really introspective for a good quarter of a minute and then is back to normal. Are you okay? Uh, how much was I paying per spin? I don't remember. Uh, we'll say it is 100 per spin. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure it was 100 per spin. I think that it was 100 right. per spin. Uh, here you go. They <laughs> jot down some notes on you. <laughs> one single lonely tear comes down one of his eyes. <laughs> that tear is strictly for the fact that I almost got smurred by a fire elemental in a contest. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very recent past that that has stricken him to, with that tear. <laughs> that seems to go okay for you. Let's roll it again. You know what? You're right. I'll do that. 
I thought I was the persuasive one. Persuasive one. <laughs> what the fuck? Four three three. I'm just easily influenced. <clears throat> Four three three one. Um. All right. Um. All of your items are now green. <clears throat> nice. All of your worn items. That is. So your clothing is now green, and your axe is now green. So nice. the scorch marks are gone now, and I'm gonna be totally questioning that when he gets out. <laughs> oh, the, the scorch marks are, and burns are still there. They're just green now. It's a sickly green, by the way. <laughs> Sick. <Yes. laughs> That's all Galar gets out of it is sick. <laughs> nice. All right, nice. Uh, you get paid another hundred. Nice. I think I'm done. I don't enjoy sure? my new clothing. Yeah. I mean, you, you just. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm okay. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I think you should I'll roll more. against that. I'll roll against you if you want me to. <laughs> Come back out and I'll try persuading you to roll more. <laughs> You're safe in there. <laughs> yeah, I really Are you done you rolling? Should, I think you should do another one. Uh, would I roll to fight persuasion? Uh, insight. Insight. E to 16? Or are you not rolling? <laughs> Why? <Wow. laughs> <laughs> oh, I like. Oh, we How does Milo more? have lower charisma than your barbarian? Because <laughs> charisma is not. It, it, insight isn't charisma. Insight is wisdom. Oh! That's funny. <clears throat> I just have it. I just have a proficiency on my modifier. <laughs> I don't know why I have proficiency on insight, but that's hilarious. Mm. You 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 don't you you think you should probably be done unless Milo decides to spin and convince you that way. Oh, Milo is more than welcome to spin. I will let him do that as much as he wants. <coughs> if I spin one will... more time, will you spin another time? I can do one more if you spin again. I shout inside the tent with a deception if, if it needs to be believed. Hey, I just saw the bid. It went up to 3000 on the one woman shop. That's fine. I can afford that. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how many tokens we have. I don't keep track of that shit. <laughs> I have I'll, a lot by myself. I'll, I'll roll. It's like, oh, this is so good. All right. Such a good roll. night. <laughs> Kit, what do I feel is if you can hold an entire D and D session with just wild magic gimmicks? Um, yes. Oh, <laughs> and you would enjoy it. Is the problem? <laughs> uh, oh, how long is it? We're gonna say that's for an hour. Um, so you don't notice anything. Uh, Galark, looking yes. over, you see Milo's heart floating above their head, beating. Oh, that's cool. That's really weird. I don't know why he chose to do that. Can I touch it? Uh, yeah, you can try. I would love to try to touch it. Your hand passes through it. It's an illusion. Ah, okay, perfect. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Interesting. They jot down their notes. Luckily, it's not hard to reach over your head. Another hundred for Milo. All right, let's go. Are you going to tell Milo about Oh, no, no, no. It's not okay. real. It's a figment of my imagination. <laughs> uh, Milo, give me a perception to see if you notice this. Uh. You don't. <laughs> All right. Galark? Yeah, I got 2,300. 2300 even? Oh, yeah. That's nice. I like it. Uh, well, you don't have a spell book, so nothing happens. What was supposed to happen is your spell book absorbs moisture like a sponge. Mm, is this broken? And then I'll roll it again. <laughs> 2207. Oh. Well, you got paid for that one. <clears throat> 
All right, we'll save that one for later. Does roll anything? No. Okay. Um, but if you ever happen to multi-class into wizard, you might see the effects of this. The second one as well, or the first one? The second one. <laughs> Is this broken? I'm sorry, the second one, not the first one. That's still both of them. <laughs> uh, I mean, you can spin again if you want. Yeah, I already did. 94, 38. <laughs> Okay. I Nothing want to make I want to make sure they can take some interesting notes. Yet. Um This is on weapon draw. Okay. Well, I have no reason to do that right now. So it doesn't seem like anything happens again. Nothing seems to happen. Shit. Did you break it? What's up with these 22,000 <laughs> rolls? Why do I have so many of them? <clears throat> You're making bank on this wheel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, Milo. Uh, give yeah. me a D6. Oh, no. <clears throat> oh, yes. Give a what? D6. Okay. Uh, for the next two rounds, you are attacking Galark. Oh. First round's a surprise. Oh, we're about to find out. Galark is not expecting this. <laughs> we're about to find out what my previous roll does real quick. <laughs> so, all right just unload on him so since you he's got... not expecting it doesn't that does that mean i have advantage um, sneak attack. <clears throat> a I surprise round is advantage are you an assassin? what class are you again rogue oh then yes you do have advantage so you will get your sneak attack dice i thought that was just an assassin thing for I guess if I, yeah, surprise. <laughs> Never mind. But no, uh, no crits. Holy no fuck! <laughs> uh, not the poison damage, so not the 14. So 14 off of that. It's a lot of. Why is there no poison on it? Because I didn't activate it. Why not? Okay, I guess I because activated it. <laughs> you only told them to. Is, is the activation an action or a bonus action? It's an action. Oh, it's an action. Okay, then I guess just if you want him to unload, then he does. He's not. <laughs> he's not activating. Yeah. So seventeen damage. damage. Seventeen damage. Yeah, seventeen minus fourteen. I believe. Oh, yeah, because nine piercing plus eight sneak attack. Yep. So you have been stabbed by your ally. Immediately after the wheel came to a stop. Or 17 damage. 17 damage. And then both of you give me initiative, please. I've, I've also got a bonus action. Oh, you've also got a bonus action. Oh, I see. <laughs> Does a 14 hit? You still no. have advantage. Oh, right. I miss. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> no sneak attack damage on this one, unfortunately. Luckily. Very um, unfortunately, what the fuck? So, 13 damage on top of 17 damage for a total of 30 damage. Yeah, that tracks. Uh, I guess I'll roll my initiative now. Uh, 13. Plus two, combat, combat. You said yours was what? I got a 13. You got a 13? So I'm probably going to die before... Uh... I got a 17. <clears throat> okay, so we'll just leave it at that since Milo's going first. All See, right. Now this is where this being an assassin will come in handy. <clears throat> Milo! This is where the assassin perk, if you act first in the round before others, you get uh, your advantage and can... Apply your sneak attack that way. He also gets crits if he has advantage on whatever attack or any attacks on that are surprised. So I would already be unconscious. Yeah, because I don't think I've got. I don't. Yeah, it's just a straight roll. This You're time. not an assassin, definitely. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's gonna hit. <laughs> Uh, nice. 
nine damage. How you doing, buddy? We'll see how the next hit goes. <laughs> That's not gonna hit. And I think that's my turn. I'm just imagining that the the people taking notes are like eyes wide, mouths agape, just going, do I take a note or do I try to stop this? And then a lot of them just start taking notes anyways. They start taking notes. <laughs> <laughs> Basically immediately. So did we determine that drinking a potion was a bonus action or can I just do that as an action? Uh oh! By the way, Milo, you are now wait two rounds or two turns. It was two rounds. Round. If, if you're counting the surprise as a round, then that was the second round. <clears throat> yeah, this it, well, second round's not over because Galark yeah. still needs to go. After Galark goes, yeah. then it will be round over. Galark, your turn. Uh, can I drink a potion as an action? Yes. Perfect. I would like to drink this potion. He did rule that drinking potions are bonus actions. I just need to know if I can do that and rage. That's all I need. Yep. I won't be attacking this turn no matter yeah. what. But I will love to get seven health back. All right. Um, and this potion is now gone. Milo, you come to your senses. And then I would like to rage so I don't die next turn. There's an enraged um, Galark ahead of you. Uh, with your sword dripping with his blood. What? What just happened? And <laughs> uh, <laughs> bonus action disengage, and then I'm backing up thirty feet from him and taking the dodge action. Oh, uh, seeing him leave, I'll cancel my rage. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the healers rush in to heal you. Yeah, so that's what I that one does. Spent my <laughs> fucking healing potion. <laughs> so that's what that one does. What the hell was that? I don't know. You tried to kill me. <laughs> I don't Very know efficiently, why. might I add. You almost got away with it. <laughs> well, of course, but I don't know why. The confidence on the, on that Milo. <laughs> I can't even fight him on it right now. He he almost killed me. <laughs> and Man, you'll never know about it. combats are going very well for our players. <laughs> and you're never gonna know about it either. <laughs> nope. <laughs> That's funny. I I think we might be done with the the uh. Yeah, I'd like to wheel. stop. And we, oh man, one more round, then I would have pulled out my axe, and we would find out what happens. But now I'll just, I guess, we'll never know. <laughs> All right, time for me to roll. <clears throat> and Kjort, sixty-one, sixty-eight. So we see Kjort come walk in and spin it again. Oh, you see Cure immediately sprint out of the tent as um, some money lenders seems to just appear out of nowhere. Ah. And they follow Cure. <laughs> I would like to follow them following Cure. Uh, give me a perception once you're out of the tent. Sixteen. You do not manage to spot which way they went. I, I would have liked to. There I can't going. currently tell if that's because Kjort was too fast or because the guys were too sneaky about it. You do not catch it either. Oh, wow. Do I catch them since I was already outside? Uh, give me a uh, perception, yeah. <laughs> Alright, this plus one's going to come in not handy. I mean, I don't think it's possible nope. if you only have a plus one. Well, his DC was lower because he was out there at the time. Ah. You were a bit more concerned with the sounds of uh, Milo and um, Glark fighting. You didn't really notice it. I was obsessed with those sounds. He couldn't hear that, could he? Nameless was able to hear it. Oh, well then. 
I assume it just wouldn't make noise from outside the tent. <clears throat> um, so yeah, you guys get out and you are met there by Nameless. Hello! I, I think, uh, Glurk, uh... You owe me a, a potion, my friend. Did you lose a bet? Oh, well, no, I what happened potions. was... It... <laughs> Who, Who the fuck potions? sells potions? I sell potions. No, he's the cursed. Who are you? He's the, guy, he's the guy from the shop that's definitely not cursed items. Yeah. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm just lonely. Uh, have, I'm do sorry, you sell buddy. any healing potions? Apparently, I owe him one. How am I so blind as to not see you come up here? I, you were distracted by the tent. You were looking for people chasing after a uh, cure. Is that who I saw a bullet out of the tent? Yeah. That doesn't have anything to do with the spin oh. of the wheel, so I don't think that's something that's going to stop us from talking, right? Or is it anything that happens in the tent? Um. How tight is this like vice on my vocal cords? You managed to mention that Kjort spun the wheel, but that's only because Kjort didn't sign the contract. Ah. <laughs> and we can't even say that uh, we we fought because that's because of a roll of the wheel yeah that's why i i cut myself off before i said it galark you seem a bit sweaty are you okay oh yeah yeah yeah. you know we just we're in there making some tokens getting some uh some of those sweet sweet things i'm pretty sure that i uh i broke something while i was in there i don't know if i can say i thought i broke the wheel i don't know if that's if that's allowed Am I able to say that I think I broke the wheel and then, and then I cut myself off? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I think I broke the wheel and then all of a sudden... <coughs> oh, sorry, something's just caught in my throat. I can't seem to... <coughs> Talk. <laughs> well, if you broke it, you could always try spinning it some more. Oh, I did, I did, I did. I spun it again and then... Fuck! <coughs> 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 So, are, are did you, you spin okay? it enough times to unbreak it, or did it just stay broken? Uh, I think it's safe for me to say that it did eventually work. It was uh, I did eventually successfully spin it. Yes. Yeah, you made a, quite a bit off of it. Oh wait, who what drew about you, Milo? First. I mean, he surprised. Uh, Galark never drew his weapons. I didn't have a chance to draw. Oh, okay. Weapon. Um, I totally forgot about this. Uh. Milo, yeah. You noticed that your weapon after you drew it, uh, it became as soft as silk. It's still able to stab and everything, and still a venomous sword. It's just oh, incredibly is it the soft. First time anybody drew a weapon. Yes. <laughs> uh, and it will remain this way until sunset tomorrow. It didn't reduce any of the damage you did to me, did it? Uh, no. It just feels that way. It, it felt very comfortable while you were being stabbed. It was probably <laughs> the most comfortable stabbing you've ever had. Much more comfortable than the fiery slaughter I was experiencing earlier <laughs> oh. today. <laughs> and Nameless, you do uh, notice um, Milo's, uh, an image of Milo's, Milo's heart beating over Milo's head. Oh, that's odd. Milo, why is your heart, well, at least an, an image of your heart above your head? What? Oh, you see it too? Yeah, it kind of translucent. Looks damn near real. Oh, I thought I was going crazy for a second there. Uh, where'd that come from? Uh, you? Well, it happened when... <laughs> I am assuming you spun the wheel. Apparently, I can neither confirm nor deny that. You could always go spin it some more, or maybe the heart will go away. Uh, the heart going away sounds like a bad idea. It's I mean away from heart. above your head, not away from inside your body. I, I think I'll... I think I won't chance it. 
You sure? Could always use the extra tokens for something. I from would. that old man's shop over there. I, I have potions! And a bottomless bucket. And a bottomless bucket. Do you have any healing potions? Probably. Do you have any I'm negative able. healing potions? Not that I know of. They're not labeled. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll get Glark a potion then. Alright. <clears throat> Indie random potion tape. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I'm not sure if he actually means for his voice to be caught like that. I but at, have to at the same time, all right, give it's me also a kit. <laughs> a two. Two. So this is an elixir. Can I use my knowledge of alchemy to help? Of, give me a d100. Thirty-seven. Oh, okay. This is good. This is good. Give me another D one hundred. Good for S who? See what the monkey's pie is. Eighty-five. Ooh, less good. Less good. Uh, so this is sir. Uh, Side effect is blank. The fact that he said blank there instead of what the actual side effect is makes me believe that he's doing this on purpose. Yep. Um, give me a d20. Did you just happen to roll the perfect elixir for the many, many rolls that you're doing? Or do you think that all potions you got from this spot were going to do the same thing? <laughs> I'm glad this is for Clark. <laughs> and now we need color. Give me uh, 2d20. Fourteen and then fifteen. Oh, that's a nice color. Um, D ten. There are a lot of rolls going into this. Oh yeah, this is a really um verbose table. It's all right, we're almost at the end here. After this, there'll be 2d100. <laughs> so, nine. So it's that. Milky texture. That's probably fine. <laughs> Sounds gross. <clears throat> Uh, and then give me uh, 2d100, but do them separately, please. So 33, and then 88. 33 is it smells like... <laughs> smells like chemicals. Tastes like... Okay. All right. We have our potion. Um, it will cost you two tokens. I'll hand over the two tokens. Uh, and if you give me an idea.
identify. Do you have identify spell? Do any of you? I do not. If you'd like, there is a wizard who, here who can identify it. No refunds. Here you go, Galark. Oh, do you think this is a healing potion then? Yeah, it might be. In this shop of definitely not cursed items. You can bring it to my ex-wife and she'll identify it. That I very much have already stated that I don't trust. So distrusting. If you trust the shop so much, why don't you drink that potion when you get hurt next time? I'm, I'm not the one that was complaining about needing another potion. I did specify a, a healing potion. Well, that's what I asked for. I'm not sure what this is, but I so asked the, for a healing the potion. The potion itself has come in a conical smooth glass bottle. It is, um, it looks colored with chunks of metal in it. Sorry, what colored? Gold. Interesting. Uh, what I'm not interested in is this potion. You're free to keep that. Milo, specifically. But I bought it for you. That's a shame. I'm not going to take it. <laughs> As we walk away, can I try and slate a hand and then do his bag? Uh, yeah. Perception against Slate of Hand. And if you l roll lower than your passive perception, you, uh... Well, you didn't roll lower, but you didn't beat his <laughs> roll anyway! I, mean, I cannot beat that roll. I have a plus zero. Uh, hmm. Do I want nat 20 to natural succeed? I mean, with the ability checks, they all... It's not how it works, unfortunately. I think that's how we've ruled it before. Is a nat one on an ability check still adds your modifier? Okay. <clears throat> so we'll he just to... beats me. I still like bad shit to happen with nat ones, but I'll still allow the total roll to happen. So Galark has very, very keen eyes, but Milo, you somehow bullshit your way into getting the potion into his pack. <laughs> so um, yeah, you now have an unknown elixir. Perfect. I like how elixir. That's how you spell elixir. You don't spell it e x l i r. Exler. Who would spell it Exler? Idiot. <laughs> I'm assuming you almost did. We're not talking about it. I'm sorry, uh, V is about to laugh for reasons not his own. <laughs> oh yeah, I saw that this morning. Oh, that's disappointing. <laughs> she she did the same thing for Omega. That one went on for like a, almost an hour. Uh, so what time would you say it's about now, Kit? <laughs> um, it's about 10 p.m. Uh, let's go check the, uh, the auctions. Maybe, uh, maybe a rich man over there should hover around, uh, old man's ex-wife's shop and uh, you can hover on the other shop and we can potentially keep both bids up. Sure, okay. I can hover around it. whichever one. Alright. Well, you're, um, the, you're the rich one here. I'll take the more expensive one then. Okay. 
So the old man shop doesn't see a whole lot. The bid ends up going up to 120 at the old man shop. And then at the old lady shop, the bid goes up to 1350. Yeah, I can pay for that. I can beat that. Okay. Uh, 1360. 1360, bid is accepted. Will he be outbidding the old man's? Uh, am I doing both of them? Uh, I can make sure that the old man's we would still win. Yeah, you you go ahead and do that. Since I'm not focused on this one. I was just gonna stand outside at that point and watch it as both of them just kind of run back and forth between each other's shops when they <laughs> should have already known what to do. <laughs> I'm staying in this well, the one, the non-cursed shop. I, I don't and, need then I would have, and then I would have just silently said, that's why I'm the smart one. <laughs> <laughs> we ever get an int person in our game? Like, they're actually based off int, I'm fucked. <laughs> Uh, Milo, I think you actually have to give a number. Oh, what was what was it up to? One hundred and twenty, I think. I'll go to one hundred and forty, I guess. Okay. Uh, you guys manage to win the auction for that amount for each of your items. Okay. Oh. Looks like we got both of them, so we can take these back and yeah, we should, <laughs> that should be it for this part. Well, now you guys just have a bunch of tokens. What do you want to do with all your tokens? Well, what can we do with the tokens? Um, food shops, magic shops, definitely not cursed magic shops. Uh, What's yeah. in the magic shop? Uh, <laughs> I think my wife just spilled things. Sounded like it. Oh, you guys heard that. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, I have one mystery gold colored milky textured elixir elixir. I don't know how to spell elixir, and I spelled it wrong, but that's okay. Is it you are at the end? It smells like chemicals. Can't fit that. I can put that in the description. Because I don't know this is my bag, though. I'm not going to ask about it. I'm not going to ask it can to be identified. I use my skill in alchemy to identify it. Yes. What stat do you want to attach that to? Um, intelligence. All right. One second. Uh... Stat int proficient. Eh. Non natural 20. Interesting. Uh, you identify it as an elixir of eagle sight. It gives the user a strong vision advantage uh, and a plus five bonus to perception for one hour. It has a side effect of a fever giving disadvantage to all other ability checks. I relay that information to Galark. That's very interesting information if I had the potion. Or the elixir. Hmm. 
<laughs> well, considering he pulled it out of your pack and then handed it back to you. Why do I have this? <laughs> How did you get that out of my bag? How did that get into my bag? Uh, it might have been from when you spun the wheel. But we didn't get the potion until after we spun the wheel. You could go spin the wheel more times. Yes, we I definitely don't need to do that. We already bought the items. Mysteriously, the wheel tent is missing. Whoa. Uh, well, it is past midnight. I wonder if we can exchange these tokens for just regular money. I think if they did that, the circus would implode on itself because the people here would realize that they don't need to remain indentured servants anymore. Oh my god. Oh. Sorry. Uh, uh, as midnight rolls around um, and everything starts getting packed up, your tokens begin to fade away. Uh, wait, how are they, wait, that's their spending money. Where does it go? <laughs> well, I was going to ask what kind of potions the, the magic lady shop had. The carnival is being packed up. <laughs> I guess it's too late to do that now. For some reason, the, the, the overlord is saying to move on. <laughs> So we can't go and just buy just buy all their potions for the heck of it. So it's... Oh my gosh! Imagine the amount of rolls Kit would have to do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Glark, Milo, you two did not take enough advantage of having that many tokens. I don't know how much the stuff is gonna be. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how many people wanted these discs. Yeah, missed out. Yeah, what I was, a shame. I was actually kind of expecting both of them to be over a thousand. Do I still feel the effects of the contract of the tent? As you in, what? I can't talk about the stuff it's still? Uh, you are still unable to talk about the stuff. Perfect, okay. Well, I guess if our tokens are all gone and uh, they're packing everything up, I guess we might as well bring these discs back. Yep. Agreed. Alrighty, let's go! Okay. Alright, you make your way back and you are greeted by Diort at the receptionist desk. Hello, Diort. <clears throat> <clears throat> hello, 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 hello. How's it's it going? It's going pretty good. I did see something very interesting at the carnival today. Oh, um, yeah, uh, oh, oh, yeah. Uh, Kjort, Kjort told me all about it. About how he fell out of the sky while I was in the middle of a one v one combat session and knocked out my opponent. Yes. Well, he interesting. Left out that part, but yes. I see you have some discs. I, I I see you have some discs. Yes. Yeah. We weren't sure which I one was which, so we got both of them just in case. Dallas direct. Uh, Dallas comes out. I can't remember Dallas's voice, so we're just gonna go with this. Oh wait. I'm no, pretty sure that one also has changed every time, just because uh, you yeah. don't remember it. Ah, welcome back. I see you have the discs. Yep. Not sure as hell wasn't that, but I'll go with it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Crazy Crafter Wizard with a German accent fits. Ah, you have both of the discs. Yeah, we yeah, weren't we sure which sure. one you needed, so we got both of them. Honestly, um, we we will just see which one works better. And okay. Dallas takes both of them. I will need three days after which... I actually, hmm... Mm. I will need three hours, <laughs> after which it should be good for testing. I will well, need... it's midnight. I'd like to take a long rest anyways. Oh, yes. Very good, very good. Yes, you may go sleep. Uh, oh. Or maybe you still need to talk with um, the guild master. I will be looking at these. And with that, uh, he heads off and Benyara <laughs> comes out. Are you, are you sure? 
I, I'm not sure it's only going to take him three hours. Or I don't think I trust that. Um, Especially yeah, if was... voice doesn't matter. <clears throat> Welcome back, laddies. Hello. Hi. Hi. I see you've completed all the requirements that Dallas had for the tra transportation device. So it seems. That's wonderful. We're going to be able to help so many more people. I've got plans for this one wonderful guild. We're going to expand, but that's for later. For now is your reward. Um, how much experience do you need for the next level? <laughs> I think you are milestoning it, so whatever right, you say. Right, okay. Uh, you guys will hit the next level off of this, because this is essentially the end of um, this arc. Hey. Hey. Additionally, you, additionally, I will be paying each of you 500 gold and three Soar of the Rift tokens. Ooh. A piece! Dang. So 500 gold a piece and three Soar of the Rift tokens a piece? That's correct. Feel free to give her a spin if you'd like. I think I can take that fire elemental now, piece of shit. I need to actually look at that chart that you made for that. <laughs> it is pinned. One coin is choose table A, three coins choose table B, five coins choose table C or F, eight coins choose table D. Yeah, I'm, I'm more so talking about looking at the table itself. <laughs> ah. Oh yes, my Swords of the Rift, Swords of the Rift LLC gotcha coins. That's right. That's what these are. Take a long rest, laddies. You've all earned it. Thank I you. will see you in the morning. Thank does your you. voice change day by day, or does it just like change whenever you uh, get a cough or like a lump in your throat? You know, sometimes it's weekly, sometimes it's hourly, sometimes it's daily. Sometimes I once went a whole year. Not changing. Yeah. Damn. Nice. That's a commitment. I will be right back. Uh, the person, not Galar. Oh, so that's the first good table. Yeah, I'd already spent coins, so I've only got four right now. 500 GP.
Yeah, I think I need to just save more unless I want to pick up a bag of holding. <laughs> Can never go wrong with a bag of holding. This is true. One item I've been looking for isn't in on anything of this chart, so that's not a big deal. What item is that? A blood well vial. <laughs> it's a new item. Ah. It's like actually extremely sorcerer specific, but it is okay. I don't particularly need other items, and I'm debating over a trade in right now. <laughs> Even though I see it, I don't need a broom of flying for some reason, because, I don't know, somehow I can fly. Yeah, Tiefling variant's nice, isn't it? It's extremely nice, yeah. Changeling variant doesn't change anything, it's kind of funny. <laughs> Probably because there is no Changeling variant yet that I know of. Are we able to buy buy stuff with just gold as well? Um, if you can find a magic shop, mm. which would be up to Miser. Hmm. There are magic shops here. Uh, I forget what I stocked them with though. You know, stuff. And things. Hold on, let's see if I have notes on that. <clears throat> ah. Uh, so the artisan, uh, Smith, Ciro, which is a female half Goliath that some of you might already know, uh, currently in stock, she has plus one ring mail, plus one scale mail, plus two shield of the metal variety, adamantine armor, uh, in the form of a chain shirt, and two sentinel shields, one wooden, one metal. That's available to you guys if you'd like to um, purchase and deny the other campaign of those materials. Unless they restock. Um, so all magic items are able to be bought or at least uh, in a sense pre-ordered. <laughs> okay. We'll probably say pre-order it then since... You work with the guild and, and set up orders. I would have to go to archive and see if I have the pin in this one. Ooh, my psionic dice went up. I have a D8 instead of a, instead of a D6 now. Am I supposed to be leveling up right now? Because I'm currently eating dinner. Oh no, <laughs> there won't be any combat after this. Proficiency went up. And I have uncanny dodge.
Probably would have been nice to have in the other fight. Yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and spend three tokens and three coins and get a bag of holding. So I'm back down to one. Bum, Have you bum, spent bum. coins previously? He yeah. has, yeah. Oh. I had, the, I had gotten the uh, goggles of nights of night before. Oh uh, yeah. The eye of dark vision now goggles. Yep. Uh I think I'm going to trade in the requisite amount to get a stone of good luck. Okay. How many is that? It's on table F. So I think that's three. Table uh, F is... Five? Five, to five. Choose. five to choose table F. Three yeah. to roll table F. No, I'd go five just to choose it. Okay. Sounds good. Could have took a cloak of protection for plus one to AC and still plus one to saving throws, but I wanted plus one to ability checks as well. <laughs> So let me edit this back down to two. Our party loot is also still uh, 1157 gold. I think we didn't actually keep any items in it. We just like got it all transferred straight into gold. Yeah, I think so. Was I tracking that? I hope I wasn't tracking that. I'm tracking it. Okay, I thought I had left that responsibility on you. <clears throat> I don't see That's why I'm tracking it, I think. I think uh, V was the usual tracker of other campaigns. <laughs> yeah, I was just. I think he also probably still tracks in this one too. If he, if we come across more loot. Yeah, I've mainly been keeping track of what I have. Yeah. I write I it down, but I don't. And I was keeping track of tokens, which was useless since they all disappeared. Oh, cool. You can just flat out add items to your backpack now. Yep. That's convenient. Uh, only downside is even though you can add it to the bag of holding now, it doesn't actually take from take away from your weight. Right.
still a useful tool now, though. Mm -hmm. Helps you at least, like, organize. All right, so add equipment. Uh, hello? Manager inventory, there we go. I kind of forgot I was drinking chocolate milk, and my dinner does not go well with chocolate milk. <laughs> Add to equipment. There we go. Now attuned to said stone of good luck as well. <clears throat> yeah, that's that's actually actually a pretty good uh, magic item. I think I might actually save up for one myself at this point. Uh, you die easier than I do, apparently. You sure you don't want a cloak of protection? <laughs> Good point. It's good to continue if you are a kit. Unless you're calling it here, which I'm also fine with. <laughs> oh yeah, this was uh this is the stopping point. I shall gotcha. save up fifty tokens and purchase a belt of storm giant strength. Hey, by the way, uh does this mean that you are actually still DMing the next uh, irregular then, Kit? It is rotating. Either V or Will will take the next one. Then before we end, you might want to explain what actually happens with the with the circle. Oh, yeah, that would be good. Um, he is Dallas is successful in creating it. You don't know which one which um disc ended up going in. You did hear a loud explosion come from Dallas's crafting room at some point. So you figured like that, that was just lost. I feel like that was more for out of curiosity than it was out of efficiency. I feel like he just wanted to know what happened with the one, even if he got the first one right. And um, he says that he now has a successful teleporter. It is powered by need. So when there is a strong need somewhere where adventurers would be um, desired, he can set up a portal to that place. Uh, and the portal will remain open until those who went through it come back. Um, barring any circumstances, in which case you die. Um, basically it. Oh, and it's uh, definitely totally licensed, but don't bring it up with the mayor. Got it, got it, got it. I feel like I made a mistake with this previously. Probably. And I'm excited for the next time I have, I have you sent out because it's going to be a guild expansion. I don't know which I should prioritize. Which one would you guys like prioritized? Do you want the insurance division prioritized or do you want a respawn location prioritized? Uh, it depends on how long I play my character, because the longer I play my character, the more I want to respawn location. <laughs> I, I think respawn might be, be a good idea with with how, how much you were beating up on Glork this session. Oh my gosh. Alright, respawn it is. That means I can throw harder stuff at you, because if you die, you just come back. Mostly the same. <laughs> Mostly Sam? the same? That's concerning. Not a fan of, of the mostly the same part. Yeah, that's that's con that's very concerning. It's yeah, I'm fine. not big on that. I've already been resurrected mostly the same ones in my life. Not a excited to go through that again. I mean, it was mostly beneficial the first time around. 
to be fair. Mostly. I came back All with right. more dex and less strength. Is there any reason I should not take haste? Uh huh. No? Alright, learning haste. Why? Because I can twin it, and then oh. you can both be hasted. Oh, no. I don't remember what haste does. Fucking action economy bullshit. <laughs> I'll just throw more mooks at you. <laughs> you are the one trying to kill us! Why would you Why would you Maybe think I'll... that I wouldn't try to make them kill you faster at that point? Counterspell it, I guess. I can counterspell that? <laughs> Not if you have no reactions left. <laughs> the threat. I uh... or can't take reactions. Oh, there is an act. He's planning. You're not even the DM next time. Uh, you're correct. He'll be the DM again eventually, though. Which one of you two wants to be the next DM? Uh... You already have at least two weeks to prepare, if not more. I could try to put something together. Yeah, I, I'm not sure how focused I'd be able to be in for this coming week, at least. Well, we so know much. there's not a game this week. That's I think. Can't remember if it was Reaper or Will. Will, I know you said something, and then you said, never mind, disregard. I, th I think that was for... That was for today. I think Kit was the the possibly out for next week. Uh, Will possibly out next week too. I think he's part of that. Oh, that is next week, isn't it? Yeah. Oh shit. That's so close. I don't Hell know if yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm excited. That's good. I'm excited. <laughs>